welcome back to Fluffy Store, where I'll have to continue this story. <laughs> Dang it. Well, we don't know that yet. Fern looks down while blushing. You like me, don't you? I'm gonna say no. Shira gives her a consent. Comes to the yes. Look, confused look. Yes. Of course that's true. God knows it. Judging by Perrin's face, that is a lie. A true bull-faced lie. <laughs> Well, that would definitely be like you. <laughs> Judging by your character. Well... I put down the ball and look at Chewie seriously. Just so. So it's edible. Well, it depends. How far are we going here? Right, although I fell asleep, I've made a new discovery. Where shit happens. <laughs> I found a note in my ancestors left for me. Yeah, they said it's uh, my fault now. <laughs> I have to keep an eye on all three of you. Outside of its uh, old language, yes. Something they regretted. Tell us. <laughs> I put the note on the table. Fern picks it up. While Puff and Sherry lean over their heads closer. Well, how the hell am I supposed to know? I can't see the paper. It's also not, mostly not in English. <laughs> So they're gonna come back for revenge. What kind of what kind of revenge? Well, I don't think it was passed down from word of mouth for years, so yeah. Um, but I didn't know why this one, the ones before me, didn't do it all this while until it came to me. That said more than why. Sorry, they might have considered it for the long for a long time, just like now. <laughs> On the other hand, apologize. I wanna see how pissed she gets. <laughs> I wanna see her get fucking pissed. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. Why are you asking me? I'm a fool. Sherry, I'm surprised at your uh, optimistic attitude. Uh, to be vaguely pissed. <laughs> but boss does what boss wants. <laughs> Let's think about it. Why do they all call him boss? They've lived with this guy for how long and don't know his first name? <laughs> 
You, you're all too kind. I will find it un unbearable to release all of you from the war wind chime. <laughs> That's debatable. You don't trust me. I'll I'll do what I want. <laughs> no no no. I've thought it through. I know humans are weak, but they are clever. <laughs> Don't judge. Humans are fucking far more clever than you expect at times. <laughs> Just like what happened. You know what? I don't like you. <laughs> Why, hello! Now we know you're also alive. Thanks for telling us! <laughs> Alright, have fun, bro. <laughs> Playing games and stuff. Indeed, I can't protect you or look after you, the wind chime forever. Who's gonna look after after you if something even gets if something even worse happens to me? So the only situation is to release all of you from the wind chime completely. Thus, all of the all of you are free to live even if I pass away, <laughs> or just not give a shit. <laughs> Now we're in a room. Thank you for telling me. <laughs> I tap on. I tap the cell phone on the bedside the table and check the time. As bugs gain my face. <laughs> a quarter past. A quarter to seven. Now what? I can't sleep. I have to find a situation solution. Time goes by. I've started to read all the old books more quickly than and Buddha has basically recovered. But I haven't found any way to break the spell on the wind chime. Yet. Sometimes when I see the book, I read pi I read pile up. And I even feel a bit disappointed. Fern calls me from behind when I lost when I'm lost in thought. And what? I never said I went to sleep. <laughs> yeah, Fern, you're also up so early. Keep on saying movements. What the heck? Tarm bugs. Well, you can go to the washroom. You know where it is. <laughs> I don't need to guide you there. Burn came closer after saying it. Yes. Hey, I couldn't sleep, so I got up. It depends on what it's uh, found in there. Hmm, it's fine. I'm quite strong. Hopefully. Not yet. There isn't even a trace of anything that mentions the wind chime. Don't tell me you can find it within, like, seconds. <laughs> I turn around to look at a pile of old books. Go ahead. Can you understand them? Well, it's most likely an older form of the same language you use now. Burn picks up a book 
without a cover and sets it on the ground. Burn turns through the old book, book's pages and the carpet on the carpet. That's not carpet, that's hardwood floors. <laughs> Her long, slender fingers are making it a wonderful contrast to the yellowed pages, which reminds me of white butterflies flying through the fallen leaves. Yeah, from a scientific perspective, it's wrong to do you. It's wrong. Why do you ask this uh, all of a sudden? Perm points at a photograph in the book. So, part of the ritual is to use blood. Debatably, that could work, but it depends on the ritual. Are we summoning freaking Hellspawn? <laughs> those ancient books really certain, certain all those all types of mumbo jumbo. I didn't know whether my ancestors wrote it or he collected it in his travels. Sometimes I find how people think in the past to be unbelievable. Well, it's mostly lack of knowledge, that's what it is. I'm also not sure about blood and, and inheritance. People in the past used to have stronger ideas about family and thought they shared as many things about each other, especially blood. Eh, depending on your answer. Burn looks up at me, questioningly. Don't question me! I am me, not you! Uh, what are we looking at? What kind of a way are we looking at it here? Yeah, yes, modern science believes familiar relationships can only be formed by DNA. Blood might be different, but relationships between family members can't be based on blood. <laughs> Okay, are we looking at royals? Because of that, because there is a point in history where it's questionable at best, and even wor even more questionable at worst. Not really. I'm mainly looking for information on the wind chime, and would just glance through the these things, which aren't useful. Burn lowers her head to continue reading the book after hearing it. Actually, the idea is kind of popular now. Many novels and movies would always explain my actually, why someone has some supernatural power by sharing some blood with a legendary ancestor. I don't know. Of course, novels and movies are works of fiction for entertainment and 
don't need scientific bases to prove them. Not yet. I pause for a moment, and then question. <laughs> you can say that. My ancestors sealed all of you inside, a wind ch inside the wind chime while I can't seal anything inside a chime. Yet, that is. <laughs> Either way, I'm going to end the episode here, and I hope all of you have a great and wonderful time. And I'll see you guys next time.